Nearly every second of our existence, somewhere out in the great expanse of the observable universe, throughout hundreds upon thousands upon millions of light years in all directions, explosive events are occurring in the night sky, whether we can see or hear them happening or not. From solar storms to gamma ray bursts, to entire supernovas, there are plenty of absolutely breathtaking phenomena within the cosmos that are sure to capture your imagination and provide a spectacle if we are lucky enough to witness it. However, one spectacular event in particular, called a triple galaxy merger, has very rarely been observed by astronomers here on Earth, despite being a common occurrence. In fact, the phenomenon is so rarely even discussed, most amateur space enthusiasts and the general public at large don't even know what they are, or that they exist in the first place. Don't be fooled, the thought of three massive cosmic structures smashing into one another at blinding speeds, only to erupt with black holes and space-altering explosions might sound too fantastical to be true, but they really do exist. In fact, humans on Earth were lucky enough to witness the process of a triple galaxy merger in February of 2022, when NASA's Hubble telescope photographed three galaxies slowly merging with one another, while ripping through the fabric of space itself. If triple galaxy mergers sound unbelievable, it is time to believe and dive deeper into one of, if not the most, vicious phenomenon to happen in any corner of the universe in the years since we started glancing up at the night sky. It's time to journey to the centre of the galactic merger. So what exactly is a triple galaxy merger, also called a TGM, beyond the three words that make up the phrase? Technically, a TGM is when the gravitational forces of three galaxies get close enough to begin interacting with one another, competing to the point where each structure starts to tear the others apart. However, it should be noted these events do little to destroy and actually contribute more to the birth of new stars and larger galaxies. Due to the swirling of gases and the crashing of gas particles into one another, clouds of the combined gases, minerals and other stray celestial objects form the foundation of a star, or multiple stars that will be at the centre of the new mega-galaxy. The stars that were already in the existing galaxies, however, will actually avoid collisions as the space between these bright objects is too great for their paths to merge. In the unlikely event that the stars within galaxies do make impact, if their cores are strong enough and survive the collision, the leftovers will combine due to gravitational wave radiation and form a black hole at the centre of the galaxy with such fascinating consequences to the merging of multiple galaxies, one would think they must be pretty easy to spot by astronomers. It's not as easy as it sounds, especially when you factor in how large the universe is and how inconceivable it is for the little telescopes here on Earth or other probes across the stars to capture every single triple galaxy merger front and centre for researchers to identify immediately. That's why in July of 2007, a group of fascinated citizens started a project called Galaxy Zoo, a crowdsourced astronomy endeavour that sees regular folks helping scientists and various researchers help with morphological classification, the systemic records keeping of large quantities of galaxies. This public research project was mostly started to give astronomers a hand in organising massive logs of information that they simply don't have enough time for. Specific to Galaxy Zoo, the project saw like-minded space enthusiasts help researchers categorise and classify galaxies through hundreds of thousands of images of the unexplored observable universe. The most recent iteration of the Galaxy Zoo 
The program's fourth installation uses data from the Hubble Space Telescope in Earth's orbit and the Sloan Digital Sky Survey in New Mexico. It saw over 100,000 volunteers assist with over 900,000 unclassified galaxies across hundreds of images not even dusted off yet. When some of the volunteers started working on an image volume delivered by the Hubble's Cosmic Assembly Near Infrared Deep Extragalactic Legacy Survey focused on the constellation colloquially known as Cancer, they laid eyes upon one of the most brilliant triple galaxy mergers ever captured by human technology. What you see is the galaxy cluster known as IC2431 smashing into itself about 681 million light-years from Earth. Their three colliding galaxies are referred to as LEDA 25476, MRK 1224, or UGC 4756 separately. They were all discovered in February of 1896, when the French astronomer called Stéphane Javel observed them in the night sky. In the image, you can clearly see the shapes of all three distinct galaxies, as well as their tidal distortions and sporadic star formations. Yet the most fascinating part about the image might be its shadowy centre, currently masked by a very dense cloud of dust with something shining through behind it. Many folks first wondered if this could be a black hole shrouded in space matter slowly being sucked in past the event horizon. However, astronomers have since determined the centre of the galaxy is just simply backlit by a galaxy behind the triple galaxy merger itself. Regardless, the newest Hubble captured triple galaxy merger certainly is a sight to behold. IC2431 is not the first TGM to make it to the public's consciousness, nor is it the first to perplex astronomers of its central contents. In April of 2008, NASA released images and other records regarding a recently studied triple galaxy merger forming the galaxy cluster called NGC 6240, also known as the Starfish Galaxy due to its peculiar shape representing a deep-sea starfish. The starfish galaxy became best known for the argument over whether or not it was the remnants of three merged galaxies or two merged galaxies, and if the centre of these galaxies were baby neutron stars or supermassive black holes. As of today, it is generally accepted that while the starfish galaxy was born from three very small galaxies, it currently consists of only two central stars, predominantly considered to be two supermassive black holes. These findings are due to extensive X-ray observations of the starfish galaxy, itself categorised as an ultraluminous infrared galaxy. These observations showed astronomers the starfish's highly intense neutral ion emissions and lowly ionised emissions, which is usually the precursor to active galactic nuclei. Active galactic nuclei would mean the extreme luminosity seen from the starfish cannot be from just mere stars, but rather the effects of supermassive black holes and because there are two at the centre of the starfish, it is predicted that they will eventually merge to form a proper binary supermassive black hole, surprisingly common occurrences throughout the cosmos. The most exciting prospect of the starfish galaxy is its relatively quick arrival time to a post-merger state. This would mean astronomers could potentially observe galaxies complete their merge in real time for the first time, that is, of course, if humanity is around for the next 10 to 20 million years. While that may seem like infinite lifetimes into our future, it's quite short when compared to the timelines of TGMs in general. Galaxy mergers usually take about just over 1 billion years to complete, and aren't modelled to produce the types of solar winds and growing black holes like the starfish wheels until they have only 10 to 20 million years left. 
Hopefully, some sliver of humanity is still kicking when the time comes to celebrate the monumentous Once in a Universe real-time observation. With the expansion of the Galaxy Zoo crowdsourced project and the improvement of technology and telescope capabilities, it's only a matter of time before incidents like the Hubble capturing this new Triple Galaxy merger become an extremely common event. It wouldn't be a terrible thing either. Any astronomer will tell you finding mergers like the Starfish or IC2431 is the key to unlocking further clues about the formation of galaxies, their properties, and their detailed behaviours in the universe. They also let us study tidal dwarf galaxies, which are miniature galaxies gravitationally bound to two parent merged galaxies, like the starfish, and categorise brand new types of compact star birthing galaxies too. These mergers, along with future mergers, also assist researchers and model makers predict and analyse the future of the Milky Way galaxy itself. The Milky Way has long been thought to be the product of a multiple galaxy merger, a gargantuan galaxy that has absorbed over 10 galaxies in its 12 billion years of existence. Understanding these events and dissecting the patterns could better help us chart the eventual merger the Milky Way is on course for with the closest galaxy to us, the Andromeda Galaxy. It's currently scheduled to happen in around 4.5 billion years, but you never know how the arrangement of the universe as it currently is can change and alter those timelines. And while the Milky Way crashing into the Andromeda sounds like the end of life as we know it, if humans are still around on Earth when the day comes, all that will happen is the night sky will look totally different than it does presently. Nothing more, nothing less. That is unless a few more surprise triple galaxy mergers come first, and once again explode onto the scene with some beautiful, if not cosmically impactful imagery.